This is the Plain English Real Estate Show with your host, Rowena Patton, a show that focuses on the real estate market in terms you can easily understand. Call Rowena now. The number is 240-9962 or 1-800-570-9962. Now All here's right. the English girl in the mouth. Okay. I would Welcome. trust Rowena Patton. Good morning. We've got Patrick Franzen stepping in. For Rowena Patton's All Stars here this Saturday morning. Thank you for listening. We really we've got a great show today, Randy. It's it's quite exciting. Again, I get to say to uh, the world that Asheville, North Carolina's weather is just absolutely oh. phenomenally beautiful today. It's crazy. We had forty eight degrees last night. Yeah, and these nights, chilly nights, feel good, don't they? And Man, then, uh, I've been snoring. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sure. My throat, wake up, my throat's all sore. <laughs> it's been awesome, well. man. I'm yeah. just sleeping solid and just having a, a really nice time with this weather. It's just incredible. Now, we are a little bit smoky. It's a little yeah. bit smoky from the Canadian fires. I don't know. But uh, for the past couple of days, they have uh, left off the air quality uh, advisories. You don't got no uh, I headphones. I don't have any, Randy. You're number one on uh, you're number one on that headphone amp down there. You okay. are number one, Patrick. There we but, go. But uh, yeah, right. we have not uh, <laughs> we've not had those air quality advisories yesterday or so far today. So there's improvement in the air quality for a couple of days. There, it got kind of yeah, Ooh, yeah. And I tell you, Wednesday. Yeah, oh, it was hard to and breathe. it actually, yeah, it, it I had it breathe. had some effect. Yeah, I smelled like smoke. <laughs> Now, Teresa, Get my fire. girlfriend, was like, ah, you don't smell like smoke. Come on. But, yeah, it was thick here yeah. in western North Carolina. But that's kind of gone away. We've got another beautiful weekend for our visitors. And we want to thank everybody listening to us. Now, you know, we're syndicated on iHeart, and you can uh, go there and listen to us. Just look up Rowena Patton's uh, real estate radio show, and it'll bring you right to it. Or you can look up 570 AM as well. and and that will bring you there. We're on Buzzsprout, too, if you want to go check out some of our collections there. This is episode 648, 11 years of being on the radio discussing your real estate needs today. So uh, very excited about this episode. Uh, Now, of course, you guys, you've got to remember, you can always go to mountainhomehunt.com and see what your home's worth. There you can find your values really easily. You just click on it. There's a tab there at the top of the page. You can go there, see what your home's worth. We're going to give you an evaluation, a range. And uh, then from there you can sort of work and learn well, if you would like to sell maybe, possibly. Now, of course, if you want to sell, we'll come on out there, hold your hand, give you some really good ideas on maybe what to do prior to selling. In this market right now, you know, it's it's getting to where you need to spruce up a little bit. It's not quite like it was last year where you could just throw a sign in the yard and it's sold. Got to do a little bit of homework right now, especially if you're above 500000 Uh The market, you know, it's, it's slowing down just a little bit there. I'm starting to see some buyers come out there making offers uh, that are a little bit lower now, trying to find a deal because of the interest rates going up, which I feel like they're kind of tapering off a little bit right around the sevens. But we're finding that uh, there is a little bit of negotiation going on right now. And sellers are starting to see it, that it's not exactly day one that they've got their home sold right now. So a little bit of time on the market, a little bit of price reduction I'm seeing in the Asheville area. Now, there's some surrounding areas, like my friends down in Hendersonville, that is still rocking and rolling down there depending on your price point uh you're you're definitely seeing some above uh asking price offers still coming around there especially in the 300 to 450 range uh we're seeing a lot of activity there but pretty excited about the market we've had a couple more homes come on the market uh, in the last couple of days we've got uh here in the Asheville area 94 homes came on uh, not a lot of price reductions, only a couple of those. We've got several coming soon. Um, and then we've had quite a few closings. So uh, still active here in western North Carolina. Of course, you folks listening all over, come on over and visit us. And when you do, schedule a trip with us to go out and check out some of these homes. If you're thinking about moving this direction, maybe you're retiring, 
or you're just wanting to start a new career here in Asheville, we're booming. We've got jobs coming like crazy right now, so it's pretty exciting. Um, the job market being uh, where it is uh, quite low on, of course, everybody knows the employment, um, unemployment numbers are, are quite low around this area. And uh, so we've got a lot of growth going on. We're pretty excited about but today, uh, we're continuing with our senior series, Randy. We've got a um, pretty exciting series going on. You know, we had talked about uh, some mortgage things last week for our seniors. And, and today, what I would like to cover is sort of prepping your home, getting ready to put it on the market. Um, I'm finding a lot of activity from the seniors in the market right now, you know, 52% of uh, the sellers are seniors, and that's 55 and older, folks that are 55 and older. So, uh, you know, that's a predominant part of the market. They're the sellers. And they've been in this home for 30 years. They're thinking about maybe moving sideways, or, you know, we often say that we're going to downsize. It's more purging. You know, with my seniors I'm working with right now, maybe they've just lost a spouse. And uh, they're working that bucket list, and they're traveling. So they're wanting a little less space to have to take care of, less yard. And um, so I'm running into a good bit of condo activity right now. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, here in western North Carolina, we've got uh, some slopes. We'll we'll call it slopes, right? And and so it's not exactly flat. We're not flatlanders around here. Um, so we've got steps, you guys. So that's one of the things I think the market's starting to understand the builders. I'm running into a bunch of level, one level living, you know, no steps into the home. Um, and so the builders are starting to get it. That's kind of exciting. I've seen some really nice, really nice homes down in Arden and uh, right around Mills River area popping up. And they're in the 500s. And there's a community down there I went to yesterday, just phenomenal. Uh, the builders, Amark, and, and they do a really top quality job, pay their bills, and are phenomenal for our community. So really like that builder, Amark, if there's anybody out there that runs into a, wants to be in a community with some townhomes or even single homes, communicate with me. I can get you in touch with those guys and hold your hand in the building process. Always love to help those folks out there. Of course, you can give us a call at 828-333-4483. That's All-Star Powerhouse's number there. You know, we're brokered by EXP Realty. We've got a huge network of homes here. And in fact, our firm right now, just with with the EXP team here in, in Western North Carolina, we've got close to 300 listings just within our offices. So we've got a really big pool of of agents that we can communicate find that home for you and we've got a network that's quite phenomenal so today you guys i've got a guest and his name is manuel and he is with m and m inspections and if with no further ado i would like to introduce manny hey hello yeah manny How you doing, so man? step a little closer to the mic so I'm, these good folks can I'm hear right you here. <laughs> and uh so yeah, Manny does inspections on homes, and and so we're going to cover a little bit about some of the things he suggests for our seniors out there when you're thinking about selling your home. You know, we we have a certified pre-owned home program, you guys, and this fits right in with that. And what we mean by certified home, you know, when you go buy a, a car, a lot of times it's certified. Well, what's that mean? Well, it means they brought their home. They they. They brought their car to the shop. They changed the oil regularly. They know about it. They've got a record. They've done all the maintenance. So this car is in really good shape. Well, that's kind of what we suggest to do when you're taking care of your home. So, Manny, from what I understand, you've got uh, a maintenance uh, kind of inspection that you do for folks. Can you go into that a little bit as well as the home inspection? For sure. Talk to us. So here's the thing. Um, I do a lot of... Uh, inspections for people that are trying to sell their house and they want to know what's going to, you know, what they're going to find before they even get to the process of negotiation and all this. Finding you know, you the, know. the yeah. crack you, in you the know how it goes. You yeah. know how it goes. So they don't want any surprises. So that's one part of the situation. 
And if you've been living in a house for, let's say, what, 10, 15, 20 years? Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you just use the bathroom. You go, you flush it, you take a shower, you turn your stuff on and off. And you never go underneath the house. Yeah, you if leave, you have a you crawl go. space. <laughs> yeah, you know? you're done. What do you mean the roof needs I, to be replaced? I don't go into my crawl space. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do. Um, so it's one of those situations where I, I had people that were living in the house. Right. And they're renting the house. And they're like, we like the house. We want to buy this house. Um, so, and they call me and say, can you do an inspection for us, please? Because we, we want to buy this. And now, this we was love a, it. a lease to own client. They were just renting. Just renting. Just okay. renting. And they wanted to buy and the whole And they love the house. They yeah. love the view. They love everything about the house. And they are like, we don't think we're going to have any problems. Right. But we want to make. 100% sure. Sure. So I go, and I go underneath the house, and I found a bunch of things that they were not aware of. Right. Uh, and they moved on. Oh, they moved on. So <laughs> yeah. they were like, yeah, we don't want to move in. Uh, yeah. Buy this like, house exactly. Okay. Well, so I understand if, that. What? And it's not a big deal. What I'm saying is, like, just because you live in the house doesn't mean that you know the house. Right, right, right. So if you are thinking about selling, mm-hmm. if you're thinking about you know buying a house that you do you renting on, or or just if you live in your own house, maybe you just want to get a, a maintenance inspection just to know what you have, right. what you're standing on. Right. Uh, you will be surprised at things that we find when we go in those little places that nobody goes. <laughs> so let's say, for instance, I'm. I'm thinking of maybe downsizing, and and I've been mm-hmm. in my house yep. 20 years, yep. and uh, and and Patrick tells me to have Manny come over and and give me an idea of maybe some. Yeah. Can you go through some of the steps you do maybe when you show oh, up to the home, and and what are the items that you cover that, for instance, HVAC. Now I know you're yeah. an expert of a lot, and you can't give. Um, maybe structural engineering kind of information, but you certainly know some structural well, engineers. Well, you just need to know what to look for. Right. It's kind of like, uh, there, this is a great analogy. You go to your doctor, right? right? Your MD. Right. And you get your tests done, and then you're like, okay. And the doctor says, listen, there's a little something weird over here with your heart doesn't sound good. I am not a cardiologist, but... You're going to have to go to one. Right, right, right. Because I can't tell something is wrong. Right. What exactly? Not really sure. So I'm going to send you to the one that knows way more than I do. The specialist. The specialist. I am the one that just tells you, "Uh -uh, There's something. There's something over here that smells fishy. The reports. You might want to go, you know, and ask somebody else. Right. And then please come back and talk to me so we can figure it all out together. Right, right, right. So I'm not just going to send you off and right. wave goodbye. It's, so, I'm going to be waiting for you to come back and we can figure things out. As, a, as a licensed general contractor, I, I always want to know. Right. What's coming back? How are we going to fix this? What is going to be the problem after that? Or if there's a problem or not? Mm-hmm. And how much it's going to cost? That's what people want to know most of the time. Right, right, right. Yeah. So what would it cost for... Or a pre-inspection, we'll just call it. Yeah, uh, like a pre-sell home inspection or a maintenance inspection, depending on the size of your house, mm-hmm. as usual. Okay. It's, they start like at 350. Right. And and every 500 square feet, we increase the price of right. $25. So. Right. Okay. So you you a very fair price there to figure out your yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. And so you, you spend, what, a couple, two or three hours there at the home? Usually two and a half, three hours, depending on the size. Mm-hmm. We follow, well, well I follow as what we call as the, the standard of practice, the SOP right. from the state. Okay. And we're going to go from the exterior, interior, um, structural, uh, HVAC, uh, your roof, uh, your decks. Decks are very important in this area because, as you know, they just build them on the side of the hill. <laughs> we've got, a, a, lot of we've weird got a lot of really <laughs> tall decks. <laughs> yes. Most of the time I'll run into some pretty solid decks, but then there's every once in a while you'll go into a home and it's got the de- the door taped over with a sign that says, <laughs> Do not don't go, go out on, on the deck. deck. <laughs> Oh, man, I hate to see that. Well, you know. You know the funny thing? One day I did go and I do the outsides first. Mm -hmm. And I go and I'm looking and I'm walking around and I go on the deck. 
And I go on the back and I try to open the back door. And I'm like, it's locked. So I went back on the on the other side, went through the inside the, the right. front door, and I saw the sign. The sign. Oh, okay. After I walked on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> After uh, that day, I don't walk on the deck. No, no, until no. I, go yeah, I don't either. The front door. I don't go to the decks anymore either. Uh, uh-uh. uh, because I do run into it a good bit when I'm out with my buyers, you yeah. guys. Um, if you would have had a certified pre-owned home inspection, like we suggest you to do. The CPO program, you know, you can find out about that at mountainhomehunt.com, you guys, or you can give us a call at 828-333-4483. Ask Patrick to give you a recommendation on who can go out and give you an idea of what may be wrong with your deck. And instead of putting a piece of tape up, get somebody to fix that deck. Because, you know, yeah. as a buyer agent, I'm walking through with my clients. Mm-hmm. We see a taped up deck, can't get out onto to look at the view. What else is the matter with the house? Exactly. You know what? What are they not telling us about? So yeah. with the with an inspection, uh, with the certified pre-owned program, I can give the the buyers our report. We might not even have to fix the stuff, but the fact that we've taken the uh, initiative to go find out what's wrong it's, with the home, I think, it's and to be important. able to talk about it in the negotiations instead of afterwards. It's a way to save the deal. Now, you know, Mm -hmm. with our certified pre-owned programs, we've found that deals fall out, folks. It just happens. And it's it's somewhere around a third of uh, transactions fall out because of inspections. And so you blaming me now? Well, no, (laughs) no, I'm not blaming you, but because of what you discover. Um, No, I know. You know, know. you're the the most valuable money there is. Yeah. Um, for four or five hundred dollars, you can find out what's up with this house. And during your due diligence period, that's when you want to find out, not after you've moved in. So, you know, having that CPO, having your home certified with an inspection, and you don't have to do, you can do the little stuff, you guys. Hey, listen, it's a lot easier for you to do the little stuff than to have to hire a contractor to come out and do it necessarily. Now, of course, there's bigger items that you run into that you need a contractor. And or if, you know, if it's something really big, then you want to get a structural engineer out there and you want to check it out and make sure that it's sturdy and, and, you know, you've got a strong home that you're going to be putting on the market or at least no. We know a third of the deals fall out if you don't have a certified pre-owned. But with it, about the, the 7%. Surprises. The surprises of the, is that what you're trying to avoid, right? Yeah, you don't want to be surprised by yeah, another home inspection and be like, I didn't know that. Right, right. And, and then you get upset when they try to come back and ask for money. And this, if we already have it and we've got it disclosed, and let's say you do fix it, then we can, we know and exactly, we pay yeah, for it. You, We're you, not in a panic to fin- fix something with. Some other contractor that we might not necessarily know. It happens to me sometimes where, like, I bring the attention to something. Like, let's mention a, a, a roof truss that is damaged or bent or something happens. And you call the structural engineer, and the structural engineer says, this is the way you fix it. Mm-hmm. And it's a very simple fix. Right. Because sometimes it's not that complicated. That's and right. And somebody can take care of that. You have the letter of the structural engineer that said, this is how you fix it. Mm-hmm. And after after the fact, they they go and inspect and say, yeah, it's fixed correctly. Right, right. Boom. Boom. You Done saved deal. yourself a panic yeah. before, you know, your due diligence and all these things. And you can, you know, you're going to look like you care about your house too. That's right. That you're trying to sell a product that is not, you know. Yeah, the image I'm you not portray. This, yeah, I'm yeah. not trying to hide anything. Right, no, we're not yes. hiding anything. No. We want to... Give give off a nice home to someone. But if you don't know, you look like you're hiding. Yeah, but you if you like, know, but if then you, you know. can just address it. Yeah, it's so simple as that. It is. So, folks, we're talking about our CPO. Those are just joining us. The CPO program here with uh, All Star Powerhouse, and, and it's where we, we send you out uh, with our inspectors. We send you out with our appraisers. We go ahead and find out the things that are the matter with the home. And then we're prepared when we go to market. There's not a mystery. We're not wondering if it's going to appraise. We've got something that sort of tells us. Now, right now, the market's sort of going down, you know. So, um, and I say that lightly because it's not exactly in any particular area where it goes down. 
there's areas that are going up still. So, you know, high demand areas. Here in western North Carolina, we're surrounded by national parks, you guys. The land is up and down, if you can think of a a bell curve. We're basically that uh, that bell curve everywhere. Mountains, valleys, mountains, valleys. It's lovely. Oh, it's beautiful. But with that, we've got limited places where we can necessarily build. Yep. So not a whole lot of expandability. And so we're starting to we're starting to find that, hey, let's go look for that single wide, maybe. You know, yeah. maybe we can build a home and use the septic and the sewer that's already in place, use the well that's already in place, because it's gotten to that point, you guys. So it, it it's certainly something where if you're wanting to go out and uh, find a home, you're going to get an inspection in western North Carolina simply because we've got a lot of dwellings around here oh, yeah. that are old. Oh, yeah. So having Manny come out and check out that home prior to selling is, in my opinion, uh, a great asset for you when you're going to sell your home. So let's let's definitely let's listen in a little bit to Manny tell us about this maintenance program. Now, let's say you're I, not even thinking about selling. Your no, home. you're not even thinking about selling your house. All right. So, um, in my opinion, it's what I do to my house too. You know. Right. I go on the crawl space. Mm-hmm. I look at my gutters. I look at all these things just mm-hmm. because it, it, there's things that need to be looked at. Maybe you don't want to go in your crawl space. Right. Maybe it's too low. Mm-hmm. Maybe I am the only one willing to go there. Or and, in the attic. Uh, or in the attic. Right. You know, Sometimes it gets dangerous up there. You need to know what you're doing. Right. Um, and things change in an instant sometimes. That's you right. know, it, like from in a year from now, uh, maybe something happened with your roof system. Uh, we had a big snow and some loads are too big for the roof system that you have. Cracks you bought you bought a house from the 1800s and, right. you know, somebody remodeled the house. You okay. need to know what's going on. That's right. Shower pans leak. Right. Things happen. Pipes break. We just had the big, big uh, froze freeze. And, and freeze in, yeah. in December. Right. Yeah, you know, you you don't know what's going on. It was Sometimes, crazy, right? oh man, I was doing dishes in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't the only uh, one. Oh gosh, uh, you know, you have family coming in from out of town. It was, yeah. and I, you know, what I did, I had to go in my crawl space, make sure that there's no, you know, yeah, and leaking pipes, uh, making sure that everything's okay. Right, right. So even though if you live in your house, even though you think you know your home, mm-hmm. maybe. Uh, I look at it. I look at it in a different perspective. Right. Let's put it that way. Right. I follow a checklist, and it's you know the SOP, and I do it all the time the same way. And uh, maybe I will find something that you just don't see because you are there right. all the time. Now, I, I've got a question for you. What's what's what, one of the bigger things? And in my mind, I think of gutters. You said it a minute ago. You oh, know, yeah. are your gutters clear? Mm-hmm. Is that? I mean, that seems to be the one of the simplest fixes <laughs> that you can yes. do to really protect your home. Oh yeah, I know. I run into a lot of homes that the gutters are, you know, busted, or they don't have a pipe to them, leading yep. them positively draining away yep. from the house. And then the water's just dumping right into the basement, and we're wondering why it smells funny. Exactly. It's in, in, and as George the engineer always said, water always wins. Yeah. And water only goes that way. Yeah. And he pointed down. Yeah, he pointed so. down, right? <laughs> yeah, it only goes down. That's all you need to know, Manuel. He said, that's all you need to know. Yep. And, so, yeah, and he was right. You know, you have to keep water away from your house. It's, water is not bad. It's just it creates conducive conditions for other things to move in right that you're not inviting in your house that's right you don't want to invite those things no termites like water oh yeah they like nice they like moist self- wood exactly yeah i don't they have to go anywhere to get to water chew. yeah easy to chew <laughs> it's nice and chewy oh goodness termites uh, oh that's man. another big problem we have around here yeah termites yeah i've seen houses i mean i inspected this house they were in the walls all the way to the attic wow but you couldn't tell. Uh, I, I couldn't say there were termites in my report, but right, right. the pest inspector that works with me, yeah, he went over there and said, Mm-mm, 
Mom. Mm. That's Jeff, right? <laughs> That's Jeff Haney from Big Best and Pet yeah, yeah, Jeff is great. He's he, amazing. He does amazing work, and he's been doing it forever. He yeah. worked for one of the big guys at yeah, one time. Yeah, he, he and, used to. And he really knows everything about oh, yeah. that. He, mean, can, he told me the other day, as a joke, of course, I right. can smell termites. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it, man. He's awesome. Subterranean termites are an issue here. Well, listen, we're going to take a small break, you guys. But please don't go anywhere. We're going to continue talking about advantages of inspections on your home. We're going to cover a little bit of what the market's doing here in Western North Carolina and some ideas for you. Even if you're not going to sell your home, do an inspection. Find out what's the matter with it before it gets really crazy if a problem just keeps going. You know, at least you know and you're educated, and then you can find ways to, to create a solution for that. But give us a moment here, listen to some of our providers, and uh, we'll be right back. From the 570 Weather Center, this is your Weather Channel forecast. The next chance for rain will be heading into Sunday and Monday. In the meantime, some sun for this Saturday as the high hovers near 81 with a light breeze in from the south. And tonight, a clear sky with the low dropping down to 56. It will be a windy Sunday. Clouds will increase. And there will also be showers and thunderstorms developing, especially through the afternoon hours with a high close to 80. More rain should fall Sunday night with a low of 62. And another round of showers and thunderstorms into Monday with gusty winds at times at a high in the mid-70s. I'm Jeff Marr from the Weather Channel. This September, our iHeartRadio Music Festival is coming back to Las Vegas. September 22nd and 23rd at T-Mobile Arena. Streaming live only on Hulu. Tickets go on sale Friday, June 16th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. But starting Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, Capital One cardholders can score tickets and other awesome experiences before anyone else for 48 hours only or while pre-sale tickets last. Visit iHeartRadio.com slash Capital One for more pre-sale details. What's in your wallet? Hi, this is Rick, and we sold our home with Rowena Patton at All Star Powerhouse. We didn't really want to move, but needed to for my job. Our first realtor didn't listen, didn't care, didn't try. Not a single showing in two months. A friend recommended Rowena. She saw the hard work we put into the home, what it meant to us, and what it could mean to someone else. Next thing you know, it's sold. If you need to get your home sold and not just listed, you need to talk with Rowena Patton. Give her a call at 828-333-4483. Rowena Patton here at All Star Powerhouse. Sell it now. Don't wait. Call me at 828-333-4483. Don't let real estate pass you by with All Star Powerhouse. This is the Plain English Real Estate Show with Rowena Patton on News Radio 570 WWNC. You get a shiver in the dark, it's raining in the park, but meantime. Sound of the river, you stop yeah. in the hole, everything. Wow! A little dire straits for you this morning. Dire. Yeah. Yeah. Feeling good, man. Feeling good. Saturday morning. Thanks for listening to us over here. At the Real Estate News Radio Show, we're broadcasting here out of Asheville, North Carolina. I want to thank all our listeners. Now, of course, if you want to call in, you guys would love to have a conversation with you about real estate. Uh, Today, we've got a guest. His name is Manny. He is an inspector with M&M Inspections. And uh, certainly, if you have any questions, call in. It's 828-240-9962. And uh, Manny can answer any of those questions that you may have that uh, or even give you some suggestions on who to contact with a certain situation. But, yeah, it's 828-240-9962 for our listeners wanting to call in. We appreciate you listening. And uh, the Real Estate Radio Show has been going for 11 years, you guys. We're on episode 648. Rowena Patton's All-Stars here in Western North Carolina. We provide security, or excuse me, we provide real estate for your needs there when you're going to sell or buy your home. You can go to mountainhomehunt.com, and there you can find out what's my home worth, the value of your homes if you're selling. Now, of course, if you're looking for a home, we've got everything that you could possibly look at on the MLS and throughout our whole area. 
Uh, you've got access to every property that comes on the MLS right there. Just register with us. We'll send you some listings. If you can put the frequency in there even, yeah, we'll send it to you instantly, daily, monthly, however you want to, you get to pick. We'll give you the information you need on the homes and the market here. You can just simply call in to 828-333-4483. That's our offices over there at All Star Powerhouse. We're brokered by EXP Realty. And now we're uh, very excited to have Manny with us today with m and And uh, we're covering just maintenance on a home, not even wanting to sell it, just uh, coming in and and finding out about the home, and, and Manny can do that for you. Manny, you want to give us some of your credentials about how to get in touch with you, just in case the listeners sure. out there? Sure. Um, my company is M&M Inspections. You can just go to my website. It's mnminspections.com. That's okay. with an A and D in between the M's. Okay. Um, you can call me on my cell phone. I am actually the person that will deal with you as a client. And, uh, you know, I have people working with me, but I really like to meet my clients personally. Yeah, sure. That way I get a feel of what you need and I get a feel of who to send and who to call. Um, right. It's kind of like a boutique company, what we have. Okay. Um, boutique inspection. Yeah, boutique inspection is very personal. Okay. I, I get very involved. I, I have a, I'm a licensed general contractor also. So if you need help fixing something if you need help finding somebody that can you know that can fix things for you i'm the right person to call and if i don't know i will find out okay so you've got relationships with handy guys yeah oh definitely professionals actually not handy man right people that have been doing it for 10 15 years right 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 that they can relations yeah they can do it with their eyes closed right 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 they don't need to be babysit or anything you just like call them and they they show up they do their thing and they leave right you know good 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 so yeah mnminspections.com that's my inspection company and the cell phone number Uh, my cell phone is Uh 561-596-1388 Eight, three. Okay. Yes, I'm wondering. Five six one is from West Palm. Yeah, West Palm, Florida. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, I went to school over there, so that's why my cell phone is five six one. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I understand. I love West Palm. Now, of course, I've got a lot of family down in in the south part of Florida, mm-hmm. and uh, my my uncle was the mayor of West Palm. Believe it no or not. No way, yeah, Jose. Man, yeah, no doubt. He, <laughs> Lou Hill, Lucius Hill. All right. And uh, he he was a showstopper of an individual. He's passed now, but what uh, a cool guy, man. He uh, he was a big real estate oh, uh, guy. Right. He built up condos. and Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of condos down he there. He lives right there on Singer oh, Island. Right. Ah. And, and uh, right on the, the water there. His son, Jimmy, is is still there so i get to go down and visit with them you know we've got allegiant you guys for those listeners out there that is true you want to come visit Asheville? we we've got direct flights from almost all of florida oh yeah yeah. and for my florida listeners you know we have a lot of clients from florida oh yeah i know (laughs) and uh, so you you know my clients so much as much as much as i do and so uh, my florida folks are coming up you know i'm working with a couple right now and we've um, we found them a home, you guys, and we're we're still sort of negotiating a little bit from a. Hopefully, my realtor's out there working for me to get our deal put together. <laughs> uh, we're we're a little bit off of what the asking price was, but not much. It happens. Um, yeah, we're getting into a little bit of a furniture business right now, but um, if we can get through those negotiations, my folks from Miami are going to have a beautiful home. They keep calling me and telling me, we're missing that temperature. We're missing oh, yeah, that know. temperature, you know, because this past <laughs> week it's 69 degrees at lunch. I, I bet it's burning down. Oh. Down <laughs> well, these clients are, you know, people from Miami and in Florida area, they, uh, they're they world travelers. So my client's actually gone to Italy and uh, his wife's gone down to Puerto Rico. So nice. it's, um, they're high. But nothing like here. Oh man, that's the reason they want to come here. Yeah, I know, I know. It's beautiful, you know. And he, he he's looking for peace and serenity from mm-hmm. a busy lifestyle. Oh yeah, they'll, and, they'll find uh, it over here. Yeah, yeah. so they have Amazing. found it. Hopefully, we can put that deal together. So, um, Mandy, let's let's talk a little bit more about the 
inspection and sort of when you show up to a home, what is it that jumps out at you every time that you look for? I mean, just immediately, what is it? Around here? Yeah. Water. Water. Water is water. Water is the problem Mm -hmm. most of the time. Got it. And, uh, I mean, you follow procedures to find things. And, I mean, I do the same thing all over and over again. That way, um, it's kind of like an automatic pilot. But there's a few things that stop you in your tracks. And you get underneath the house because they love crawl spaces over here. And they build in crawl spaces. And you go underneath, and there's where you find the yay or nay, practically. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I go into crawl spaces, and I'm like, ah. Thank God I don't have to give bad news to my clients. You right. know, somebody took care of it. Yeah. Somebody's keeping it dry. Somebody has dehumidifiers, good vapor barriers, good insulation. Everything looks great underneath. Right. Because sometimes you go in a house, the house is beautiful. The right. bathrooms are amazing. Right. And then you get underneath, yeah. and there's where you find your little Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> scary thing. The scary smell <laughs> and the scary leaf. Or you go underneath. And it's like you can take a nap down there sometimes. Oh, wow. you know? Yeah, so, I mean, I'm yeah, familiar. Some of them are nice. I'm not saying that crawl spaces are bad. It's just the way you treat your crawl space. That's right. You want to treat it, you know, with a lot of care. That's right. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I've often, um, you know, I've compared crawl spaces when I go into a home. If it's got a clean bathroom and a clean, organized closet. Mm-hmm. Crawl space probably clean and organized. I, I see it like that. You know, <laughs> I, I I I could walk into your house and you have clothes all over the place and you know you dishes in the sink. But if your crawl space is nice and neat, I'll be like, oh, this person knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're OCD on, OCD being on clean. the things that you know matter. These people um, must have called Manny and had him come out and <laughs> and tell them what was the matter. Because it sure is nice underneath the crawl space. It really so does it, make a difference, you it guys. It does. It does. When and you're going to uh, sell a house, you you want to be prepared, you guys. And, and we're talking about, for my listeners just popping in, we're talking about our CPO program, the Certified Pre-Owned. And what we're talking there is, is going ahead and having your inspection. Uh, go ahead and get it looked at. Find out about your home. It's nothing worse than having a mystery. Now, of course, we list a lot of homes here at All Star, and uh, we we've got you know a lot of homes we've put under contract. We've got six or eight right now that are that are of our listings that are under contract, and most of them had have had CPOs. And folks, the ones that haven't, we've we've either fallen out or we've not sold the house yet, you guys. And it it just is a testament to where if you can. Get an inspection prior to putting it on the market. Get an appraisal. Find out what the home is worth. Then that way you can confidently, when you go to negotiate with someone, because we're starting to see negotiations. You know, a year ago, you guys, everybody was just slapping the money down. Here we go. Top dollar over asking cash. No, that's not the case as much right now. Is it happening? Yeah, a little bit here and there. But I'm starting to see a slowdown, you guys. Starting to see price reductions. Starting to see time on the markets. You know, it's really building up. Um, we're going into a little bit of a, what feels like, um, you know, the Clement Huglar came up with the economic cycle in 1860, you guys. And about every 10 years, we go through a recession. We go through an ups and downs, valleys and peaks. And so we're going towards a valley right now. The market's really strange because we do have a lot of folks out there sitting on a a lot of cash in their home. So they're selling their home pretty easily. And then they're getting out there and they've got cash to be able to buy something else. And uh, so the competition is still out there. If it's a nice property, and I'm talking about one that's got a nice crawl space. (laughs) Exactly. You know, it's nice and organized on the outside. They've got their gutters cleaned out. Exactly. They've got the water positively going away from the home. They've had their HVAC inspected. They've had their roof inspected. They know what they're working with. So they're able to get the dollar. They're not having to negotiate as much because they know their product. Yeah, and then you have the short due diligence time sometimes too. You know? Oh, it's, due it's, diligence! It's, it's 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 a panic. That's a problem. You know, you're you're behaving in in a way that you you have to do things without knowing. You get your house inspected, 
and you know you have a problem, you know you can, you know, you're going to go shop for an engineer. You're going to go shop for a roofer. You're going to go shop for people with time mm-hmm. instead of having to say, oh, my God, I have to get this done before the 25th. Yeah. You know, well, let's say or, you don't even get it done. Or like prices or, you know, it's you, just. You know about it. Yeah, it's exactly. the knowing. So, like, for instance, when we list a home, maybe it does need a new roof. Well, yeah. we we put in the description, okay, we know it needs a new roof. We've adjusted the price in order to be able to accommodate exactly. that. And so, here's and, the quote. Yeah, and How here's the quote that cost. we got yeah. and what it's going to cost. Simple as that. Simple as that, you guys, and it just helps so much with the negotiation. It it's does. 300 to maybe if you got a big giant house, maybe it's 750, a thousand. I don't know, but I another I, thing, you know, I have I have clients to come with me and they say the house has been inspected. Here's the home inspection report, right? Can you meet us at the house and just go over little things, right? And the buyers don't have to spend the 350, 400 dollars in inspection, they right. just call me. Uh-huh. As a licensed general contractor, right, and I charge him a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars to do a walk and talk. Walk and talk, you guys. That's where he doesn't have to put a uh, a yeah. report together, which yeah. is time consuming, and that's the reason it's less money. Mm-hmm. But a walk and talk to walk through with you, walk through the home, hundred and fifty dollars to find out what's going on with your home, and the seller already paid for the home inspection, right? And I just show up with my general contractor hat. Mm-hmm. You know, and we talk about things. Right. And so. what, is, what is relevant? What is going to cost money? Yeah, and look what That's you've what done for your buyer. Know. You've already saved them some money. Exactly. And you've probably made a lot more money for yourself because you're organized and you know what you have. Exactly. There's no mystery. Yeah. You know, there's no shockers. Oh, I got a $10,000 roof. Oh, I got a HVAC. Oh, I got water in the crawl space. It's, it's like getting rid of a headache. Before it shows up. There you go. You know, that's one of the things about properties is uh, I've often had people tell me, well, it's it's gotten to where it's so painful that we're ready to get rid of the place. Mm -hmm. It's it's now become a headache. Exactly. And so we've got some aspirin for you right (laughs) here. Manny's got your aspirin. (laughs) You know, you can pop you a couple Advil. For the headache. Yeah, take care of that headache and, and know your product when you go to sell. Yeah. It's nothing worse than having the mystery sitting out there. Oh, what's my house worth? You know, oh, what's what's wrong what's with my house? What's going on? What Can can you tell us about the home inspection? I'm like, I'm sorry. No, this is for the buyer. I right. can't disclose anything with you. Well, I need to know what I need to fix. Right. Well, maybe you should have gotten a uh, a pre-sale home inspection. Yeah. And my wife, my wife rides horses. She's actually on her way to try and ride now to uh, see a horse show. And she always says, you have to be proactive with a horse. You cannot wait for something to happen. Right. right. By then, it's too late. You're you're out of balance. You're going on on the ground. Oh, man. You have to feel the horse before. You have to know what's going to happen. You have to see the future a little bit. And, you know... A horse is a big animal. It can hurt you. Yeah. And a house is a big investment. Yeah. And that you should be proactive with right. your house, not reactive. Because by the time you're reactive, it's too late. Yeah, you guys. It's so, it is very helpful. If you're even thinking about selling your house in two or three years. Yeah. Go ahead and find out now. Yeah. So that, you know, you've got an idea and and, and you can prepare for in the future. Maybe Manny tells you that, uh you know the roof looks like it's it's maybe got five years left to it. Not an expert on necessarily the roofing maybe, materials, maybe, but you know, depends. It, yeah, it there's, might there's need ways some, of finding out. Yeah, yeah, so we can find out when the roof was put on before, what kind of warranties it has on it. We've run into a lot of hail, and we have weather here, don't mm-hmm. we? We've got rain. Yeah, we we've got it all. So our our roofing materials really get beat. They they do. Yeah, that rains a lot over here. It's just one of those things. An important thing, people look at the roof, and but you find your leaks at the attic. Right, right. How many of you guys go in the attic, like, once in a while? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Well, Christmas to put the, you oh, know, yeah. the exactly. stockings and the uh, tree trimmings away. Exactly. That's the time. And I, I go all the way in. Yeah. If I fit. I Here will go, go in the attic. You got to find your leaks in the attic. Because sometimes the roof uh, it might look a little mm, yeah, rough. But right. if you go in the attic and there's no water intrusion in the attic, 
Yeah. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. yeah. You can weather a no, no, couple, one more, two years, you know. A lot of times, the roof tells you, like, there's missing shingles. Yeah, there's, that is very true. You know, and, or your gutters are really full with a bunch of sand. Uh-huh. That's mm-hmm. a there's telltale. Plant, plants growing on your gutter. <laughs> plants growing because <laughs> the soil's really good up there, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to have plants coming out of your gutters when you're selling your home, no, folks. I'm get, telling you. They get water very well over there, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> the gutter's clogged. Exactly. Water stays in the gutter, right? You got these nice pine trees growing out of your gutters. Oh, yeah. Nothing turns a buyer off more than some pine trees coming out of the gutter. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Oh, me. Oh, well, that, that and that's funny. You know, so what's some of the funnier things you've run into, Manny, when you've been under the house or on oh, top gosh. of the roof or, you know, oh, or maybe <laughs> maybe a client said something funny to you. I don't I know. Was, I'm just interested. I was, I was expecting this very old house and, and the attic, it was the entrance to the attic. You open that thing and it it was scary. Okay. The woman looked at me and she turned and she said, either you're stupid or you're very brave. <laughs> Are you going in there? <laughs> I said I have to <laughs> to find out <laughs> if you have leaks. And she's like, "Well, I, I, if I was you, I wouldn't go in there." I said, "But you're paying me to do this." So <laughs> I got into that attic, and there is snake skins <laughs> everywhere, hanging oh, everywhere. Man. So you, you know, <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> No, yeah. So have you ever had to face a snake when you were? I open? actually grabbed one under, under underneath the the vapor barrier. I was crawled. That's the only time I told my client, "I'm sorry, I am not going in there." So one and, of my <laughs> funny one of my funny stories I was I was under this house and uh, we're trying to find the source of where a leak was. Oh god! And um, we're poking, you know, and I'm I'm helping the inspector. Because I want to see it myself, you know. I, it, yeah, I'm but, that guy that gets up. Well, you have to. And, sometimes and, and pictures don't see. do it justice. Yeah, I just want to yeah. see what's going on here with this. So I get up under there, and I'm I'm pulling back the insulation mm-hmm. that's in between the joists. I right? can see the. I can see it. And so, <laughs> and I'm I'm like, I'm looking up, and I don't have glasses on or anything, oh, you know. And I've got this flashlight that's laying there. There's about two feet of crawl space, uh-huh. maybe a foot and a half, <laughs> and I'm right in there. So I pull back the insulation, and a giant fat rat oh. falls on me, man. Oh. With all its droppings and all its oh, was everything, it, alive? it was alive. Oh, even worse, man! You talk about oh. <laughs> <laughs> scooching on out of there, man! I've had claustrophobia from that point on. I, I'm like, oh man, I can't get under the crawl space anymore. So, listen, you guys. Don't go find that rat. Have Manny find the rat I'll for find, you. I'll bring Let a him. mask and gloves yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you no, don't have to get full of rat poop. <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> no, this was an older, older house. Oh, and, no uh, believe me, I know. And uh, so mm-hmm. anyway, it it had character, let's just say. Yeah. But, you know, since I'm, I was selling the home, I was able to say, hey, listen, we got a problem. Yeah, yeah we, we got to fix this up, right? We got, it's it, called Jeff. Yeah, we got some <laughs> rat holes somewhere we need to plug. Exactly. So anyway, and then, yeah, you go get Jeff, you get him out there. Yeah. He know takes what to care do. of the pests. <laughs> yep. And uh, Jeff, he's with Big. Yeah, it's, it's funny because rats and, and squirrels, nobody will think, you know, anything about that but they're very dangerous to your house they chew through the wires oh they love the uh, the they're, jacket the of the wires the squirrels, squirrels the love wires. wiring My i don't God. know why i mean neither but i heard bad stories about you know houses, <laughs> houses burning down yeah, because they <laughs> short it short here it. we go yeah it smells like something <laughs> burning around here squirrel fresh, barbecue fresh squirrel <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys, it's it's been fun uh, talking with you today, Manny, and finding out you, about this. I just here. want to tell my listeners, listen, get Manny on out there to your home and tell you what's wrong with your home. And or you maybe nothing is wrong. Or maybe and you want to you want to hear that, right? Because yeah. sometimes I'm, I have clients that go, "What uh, did I pay you for?" Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's because, uh, because your house is perfect. And now you know. <laughs> <laughs> you probably run that in because somebody that's going to call you out prior to as a proactive person yeah, exactly. right so they yeah. probably uh, they already have well, they already buttoned up their home a lot you'll be surprised yeah <laughs> but yes most of the times there's people that you know man engineers 
inspecting houses from engineers is a pleasure. Right. Thank you, all, thank you all guys for being so neat and organized. <laughs> well, you know how many uh, engineers we have in Western North Carolina? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> oh, You're man. right on that one. <laughs> we don't have enough. Oh, man, some of these homes we go into, you guys, oh, hey, listen, if it's, I just have to say, I'm a buyer's agent. I'm out all day, every day looking at homes. And when we run into one that's fresh, Mm-hmm. And it doesn't smell. Mm-hmm. And you guys, you know what I'm talking about, the smell. It doesn't smell like a dog or, <laughs> uh, you know, years of activity oh. or an ashtray. You mm-hmm. know, it's, uh, I'm amazed. Me- I'm still running into homes that are ashtrays. Don't get me started on that. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, Manny can get you in touch with someone if you do uh, have an ashtray home that can alleviate and the, can uh, the ashtray. Yes. <laughs> uh, we can fix that. But yeah, it's um, it's been fun talking with you about uh, here, about man. your life and what you do. I know you have a passion about I, it. I I love what I do. I really do. Man, it's I really fun. appreciate you so it's much because one of those things that you know you're always Johnny on the spot, man, and uh, <laughs> you've never delayed. You never, you know, it, it, you're on my team, and it feels like it when you're out there working oh, for God. us to find out the answers to these homes. And again, if we don't know the answer, we'll find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just ask a few questions. Home inspections are very important, folks. You know, we've we've often talked, and and I know my regular listeners, uh, you you listen to me a bunch talk about CPO, and so go ahead and get your home pre certified, you guys. Then have us come on and out, come and and give you an idea of what the value of the home is, um, or you can go ahead and certify your home, have an inspection, go ahead and get you an appraisal. We've got appraisers. They're getting less busy uh, than they were maybe a year ago, and we still need a little bit of time for them. Um, but they'll go out and do a, a, an inspection, um, an appraisal for you, and get an idea of what the value of your home is. And, know and, what you're selling. And know, know what you you're gotta selling. you got to know what you're selling. Yeah, and know what your product you know, is. Yeah. yeah, so it's been phenomenal. You guys, again, please come over to mountainhomehunt.com. Over here at All Star Powerhouse, we would love to welcome you to come see what your home's worth. We've got a tab there that you can click on. And then you can also go over and see what's selling. You can even check out our inventory that we have. That's mountainhomehunt.com. It's 828-333-4483 if you want to give us a call. I've got someone there that will take your name and number. And uh, one of our professionals will call you back from our team and we can go over. Maybe you want to just talk about the future of, you know, you've got a year before you're going to be selling. Give us an, a call. We can come out and give you some suggestions. We'll definitely suggest having your house certified. And uh, so, yeah, folks, thank you again for listening to the All-Star Powerhouse Real Estate Radio Show. I want to thank my guest, Manny, from m m Inspections, you guys. Man, you want to give us the telephone number again one sure, quick time? Sure, why not? Why not? It's uh, area code 561-596-1383. Okay, you guys, you've heard it right there. Have a great Saturday. Randy, thank you as always for taking care of me. It's been really fun having you guys be here. Rowena's back next week. Get ready, you guys. We've got another exciting show coming your way. This has been the Plain English Real Estate Show with Rowena Patton. Visit Rowena and post your questions at RadioAsheville.com or call her at 828-210-1648.